Hi mom, we've been waiting on another video. I hope you liked the first one. Yes, everything's going good. I miss you too. Um, I don't know what really to say, but you wanted me to send another video back. Yeah, um, I know things are rough there. Um, I know you were talking about how your cars, none of them are fixed, and you have to um, carpool with people. Uh, that can be rough, but at least you're getting to work. Um, hopefully, one will get fi at least one will get fixed. Um, I doubt it, but maybe. Um, I know you said David was having his migraines again. Um, all I can tell you on that is to get him some medicine or a, a beer or something. I don't know. <laughs> tell him to relax and maybe the, <laughs> the headaches will go away. Not sure. Everything's going good here. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in front of the wall. That's because my phone was almost dead and I had to charge it in order to send this video to you. And we finally got cable in our room. We had a box in our room, but there was no TV. So then we took his little brother's TV and put it in here. And then his mom said it wouldn't work. But then we got it to work. So we've got TV in here. We don't have much in the room, which I can show you now since since I'm in the room. You see, we've got nothing. That's my dirty clothes. It's really hot in here, by the way. There's a this a bed. Um, there's our big ass TV in our bed, which doesn't have sheets on it because um, they don't stay on it long enough to keep them on there. And plus they're dirty. <laughs> so are the blankets, but the blankets still are on there. Uh, there's a table over here that has like a whole bunch of crap on it. We've got a walk-in closet, which we have n no hangers, so my stuff's just folded on the, on the top up there. He has a guitar in there. He knows how to play it, but he won't play me a song because he says it's, it's messed up or something. I don't know. And this is a very small village, as you, as you know. <laughs> um, not many people. I just applied for a job at their at the market across the street and I already had my interview and they're either supposed to call today or tomorrow um, they usually call in the morning so I'm guessing they're not going to call today I'm hoping that they call tomorrow because um, his parents are not in good shape his, it was just his dad um, before I came here, his dad was getting worse, and he, he was in and out of the hospital, and they've only got one car here for everybody. David works from 5.30 all the way until um, 2.30 in the afternoon, and he always has to wait on a ride, which his sister comes and picks him up and, and takes him and brings him back. Um, today, uh, his mom has an appointment right before he gets off, so he's he's gonna have to wait, and he's gonna be mad because he's all dirty and stuff. But he'll get over it. But his mom um, went to the doctor the other day to try to get something saying that she couldn't work, so she could get food stamps. And when she went, um, they told her her blood pressure was high and her sugar was high and they kept her in the hospital overnight and 
she's on a lot of medication now, just like David was. And so she's having to keep up with that. So now, um, David's dad and mom are both going in and out of the hospital with appointments and stuff. So um, both of his parents are unable to work. Um, so right now, David is supporting both of his parents with his money. And it's hard for him to work overtime and stuff because there's only one car. Uh, no, my stuff still has not got here. Of course, you know, if it had, the room would be more full, but it hasn't got here yet. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm getting a job, so me and David actually have money for ourselves, because I get a job, that money is going to go towards my car and things me and him need, and his paycheck is going to go towards his mom and dad and their bills. Um, uh, their rent is really, really expensive. They have a, um, a three-bedroom and I mean it's a two-story but it's like six hundred and twenty five dollars a month so we just paid that so that took every bit of David's money for um, the past week he put in 52 hours um, last Friday so this Friday should be a good paycheck but um, he has to pay their cable and their phone bills and stuff uh, which will their, their cable and internet and stuff is like $300. Um, my phone is being cut off because um, the minutes are running out. It's that time of the month <laughs> that it needs to be paid. But we're not going to have money for that because we got to help them. So his my phone will be on today and tomorrow. But his, and his phone will be on for like three more days. Um, the house phone will be on, so if you need to reach me, you can call the house phone. But, like I said, you won't be able to text or call us because our phones won't be on. I'm hoping he'll have enough to pay um, his bill at least, but I doubt that. Um, because he's going to get around $400 on his check. Uh, this Friday, but I don't know if we'll have enough to do everything since he has to pay their cable bill and stuff. So, I mean, money's tight, but I mean, mm, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm happy with him. Um, that's, that's why I'm here, is for him, um, because I care a lot about him. Um, me and him are trying to get it together. Um, he finds it very frustrating also that he pays his parents' bills. But, like I told him, I said he can't just leave them hanging, and, because they have no way. But, he says that... If they don't get some kind of government help, then he's just going to find us a place. Or he's just going to get us a place and stuff. But, you know, he, he probably won't do that. And we've, we've had many discussions about money. That's probably the only issues we ever have. And it's not an issue between me and him. It's an issue between us and them. It's, it's not a me and him problem. Because me and him would have plenty of money, because um, he makes around three, four hundred dollars a week, and I mean we would have money to do whatever. Um, but can't really do that if we are helping other people. But you can't leave people mm, out in the cold, I guess you can say. Um. My southern accent is still here. <laughs> I haven't got rid of that yet. A lot of people, they don't make fun of my accent. They, um, they admire it, I guess you would say. They, 
they giggle. Like I went to the store the other day and this woman was like, are you from the south? I really like your accent. She was like, I wish I uh, had your accent. So, you know, uh, not many people think it's that rare. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping to get the job over there so that maybe me and David can have some spare money for ourselves. Um, he's at work right now or I would be videoing everybody. Um, his mom and his sister had to take Jasmine, which is his older brother Rob's girlfriend, um, to the doctor today because she's pregnant and she's going to be having a baby. Um, and they don't have a car or anything, so they took her to the hospital or the doctor or whatever. And then she's going to come back and then they've got to take David's mom to the hospital to... Uh, get a checkup on her since she went in the hospital um, the other day. So she's going to have a checkup. And then they're going to get David. He's going to come home. And um, I always have to lay his clothes out for him to get a shower. I have him something to eat when he comes in. And it's just like he, uh, our David. He sits on the computer. <laughs> For forever, and I have to get on to him about staying on it so long. He's like, I didn't know, I didn't know I was on so long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he's a procrastinator, very bad, <laughs> just like David. Um, um, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, give you things that you don't know or, or whatever. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not married. <laughs> I know Autumn probably went around saying I was married because I called Aaron my brother-in-law, which Aaron is the youngest brother. Um, he was adopted. Um, but we all basically say I'm like basically his sister-in-law or whatever everybody already considers me family so I mean I guess it's just easier than having to explain the whole situation I'd rather just say brother-in-law so you know that he's he's David's brother instead of having to go he's my Aaron he lives with us he's adopted yada 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 it's just faster to say it that way um Autumn was like, um, well, why don't you go ahead and get married? Why, why are you waiting? I was like, um, because I don't want to get married in a courthouse. I want to actually have a wedding. And we need money for that. And I would like him to actually have a ring on my finger before I get married. <laughs> I'm very picky, as you know, Mom. <laughs> Always have been. David's starting to realize that, too. <laughs> um... No, so not married yet. She she says I sound like Christian by saying yet, but like I told her, far different because I'm actually planning on marrying him one of these days. Hopefully. Um, hoping everything works out. Things are good up here so far. And no, they don't say Ohio like Ohio. <laughs> they really don't say it like that. So, <laughs> um... And they, David has said that they all look alike, but they don't. Um, they do look different. Um, uh, well, I'm trying to think of something else to say because... Oh, um, when I, I, I did watch your video, of course, because I'm videoing this. Um, I guess you were doing that on your computer by the uh, by the um, camera or something, um, but I could barely hear you. I um, I had to put it right up against my ear in order to hear it. Um, so either speak louder, turn your speakers up, or um, you know, you might have to do it on something else and send it over. 
because it was very, very hard to hearing you. Um, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but um, I don't know. Uh, hopefully. Um, Well, one day when we're out walking, I'll, I'll take some pictures of the village and I will um, send them to you so that um, you're able to see what it looks like around here. It's a very small town, um, not many people. Um, very, very nice people. They're all, they're all nice. Um, since we live in Lyons, it's, it's not high crime rate or anything like that. The people are really nice. People are constantly walking their dogs or riding bikes. It's, it's like, um, kind of like living in a subdivision, but with um, a store on the corner and a, a village market and, um, and two restaurants. There's two restaurants, a gas station and a village mart and a pizza, a pizza pit place. Um, their pizza is pretty good. Very greasy though. Um, so, um, oh, I, I, um, I, uh, watched the videos that you posted of Deja and Christian on YouTube. I also seen where you posted the one about Johnny and, and me pulling chicken when we used to date, and I also seen the one with Misery playing in the snow. Um, I watched all of them. Um, I really liked the one where Deja was singing. I thought that was really cute. Um, so far, as far as I know, no grandbabies for you yet. Um, I would say we've probably done it every day except for like three days that I've been here and which is surprising because um, when I was on my period we actually did it the second day I was on my period which was a very bloody <laughs> and we did it the last day that I was on my period which, which means I wasn't bleeding that bad and uh, so, basically, the whole time I've been here, um, we've we've done it almost every day, but like three days. Um, I I don't know if you're ever gonna get a grandbaby. He has um he has problems with um uh, well this I just go ahead and say it. he has problems with coming. He can get it up and. It's pretty good. Um, we figured out my climax problem. Um, I've climaxed several times while having sex with him, but he is still yet to actually come. Uh, he's come twice um, of us having sex. Um, he woke me up one morning because he had some dream or something. I don't know. And <laughs> that was a quickie. He, he got off really quick. Um, and then actually yesterday, um, I think it was, he got off. Um, so that's only two times out of the whole time that I've been here and the whole time we've had sex that he's actually got off. So, we're still working on that. Um, I don't know. I tell him it makes me feel bad <laughs> that I, I I feel like I can't get him off. But he says it's, it's just the problem he's always had. So, I don't know. Um, we're working on that. Maybe you'll get a grandbaby. I, I doubt it's going to be anytime soon. But, um, I don't know. You know things happen so mm. but um if I think of anything else to say I'll make another video or I might make one when he gets home later I'm not sure maybe maybe not um 
but I, I know this is a really long video and I'm not looking into the camera much because there's this bright as light on the other side because it's dark in here so it's kind of hard to look just straight at the camera because this light it, it's very bright so I kind of look around um, anyways um, yeah we can video back and forth um, I, I take pictures and video all the time I finally got a picture of me and David that I will um, send to you it's not a good one because he wouldn't smile for the camera and we both looked pretty rough because we had been laying around the house all day but it's still a picture and I'll still send it to you um, but I think I'll let you go um, for now I miss you and I love you and I hope to see you on one of the holidays I'm hoping Thanksgiving or Christmas I'm not sure which I'm not gonna promise anything maybe y'all can come up here when your cars get fixed I don't know maybe we do have a spare bed in our room so if you do come you could probably drive my car up here <laughs> and we'll send you back on a bus that would be awesome but <laughs> yeah because I'm really really wanting my stuff and it's really hard to get the money because we we had the money um, but then we ended up having to pay his parents bills so then we didn't have the money and then we had enough for 325 and then they raised the price so then we didn't have it and we were supposed to get another week and he would have had plenty of money but because of all the bills he's had to pay for them it's in, kind of impossible right now to get it up here but like I told him it's nothing to worry about eventually I'll get up here um, um, I, don't, I don't know but um, I'm gonna let you go it's super hot in this room so I'm gonna go downstairs um, I love you I miss you tell David I love him and miss him too and I'm sorry I didn't call him Father's Day and I, I was gonna try but the, the house phone's always busy it's always ringing off the hook and I don't know I was kinda mad yesterday at David but because he was, he was being a meanie and, I don't know, I was having mood swings, I guess you can say, I don't know, <laughs> he says it's understandable though, so, well, anyways, um, tell David, I miss him, I love him, um, I'm sorry I missed Father's Day, I will, next time I see him, I will make it up to him, and, um, I am hoping to see y'all um, sometime during the holidays, of course. Um, I'm hoping to move down there again, but I don't know if that'll be anytime soon. But, um, but yeah. Um, sorry the video is so late, but, um, anyways, I, I gotta go. Um, I will call you or text you when my phone is going to turn back on. Um, I'll try to video as much as I can. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. But, okay. I'll let you go. Bye. Love you.